Um, chess guy, welcome to chess time. All right. Starting out the queen's pawn opening, taking the center. Taking it with the queen, pulls out his knight, put them in check. They'll move their bishop here. And by doing that, they can't move their bishop out of the way or else it threatens the knight. They, uh, not the knight, the king. Back to regular chess. All that opening stuff is done. I'm going to develop the knight. Now, the thing is, I've tried to record this video maybe like five or six times. But the problem is that I'm not very good at chess. <laughs> So I keep running into situations where I say things that just don't make any sense and I end up having to scrap it entirely. But hopefully that won't be happening today. I'm going to move the knight up, try and threaten the fork here. Nothing's over there, but I mean, it's a free pawn if I'm able to win it anyway. Start out by moving my... not, not over here because the knight is covering that one, so I'm going to try this one right here. Here's hoping they don't just move their pawn out and see that... okay, that's perfect, okay. so. Now they've put something right here, so I'm going to take this queen out and move right here. Now, to them, it might look like, oh, I'm just moving this out of the way to stop this reveal attack that might happen right here. Which, I mean, it is a very real possibility that they just put their bishop right there, but I could always just counter by moving my pawn up one. If they move it back like that, then move that up too, and we've got ourselves a pretty good situation to be in. But right now, diagonal, knight, forking those two pieces it might end up just winning me a rook. Now he makes a little bit of a blunder here by moving his bishop out here. I can take this. All right, so I take this. He's gonna retake with his pawn. Then I take his pawn and I've won myself a pawn and a bishop for my one knight, which is putting me up plus one, just like that. His knight is attacking my queen right here, so I have to move it out of the way. I don't have a lot of options though. So what I like to do is I just like to make you know, take as much time as I need because we're in a 30 minute match. I mean, I've got all day. And just figure out all the spaces I can't move to. Alright, and we've got ourselves a very non complex looking map of all the places I can and cannot move my queen. Missed one right here. The rook can take that. And the knight can take over here. So I don't know if you've noticed, but this isn't exactly a very favorable place to put my queen in. So let's just declutter a little bit highlight only the places that I actually can move it, not this one right here, or that one for that matter. Man, I'm really bad at this. So I've only got these three spaces, and just looking at it right now, I want to be able to threaten this piece right here. Actually, no, that's a horrible idea because he's already threatening to recapture. So these are my three places. I think I want to just move right here because it puts me in a pretty good position. Actually, no, given he can just move his knight right here and get some good development while threatening my queen and have to move it again. So preferably not a place where he can just immediately re-threaten it. So these two places probably not because he could just take it right there. So I think I'm just going to move my queen all the way back to where it started. We like to think about things here at Chess Guy. It's a thinking man's game after all. He's moving this pawn out here because he's able to now take out his bishop and he's got a lot of room there. I don't want to touch this pawn for the foreseeable future, or else he'll just pin that right to my queen, and now I can't use this knight, and then I'd have to recapture with my pawn. I'm just gonna throw this bishop out here somewhere. So he's here are my places that I actually can put it. I've got three spots left. I think right here is a good spot to put it. It's not too close to where it would be stopping the queen from going anywhere, and it's not too far to where he'd just be able to set up some sort of attack with his pawns. Now, I don't have to take this at all. I don't I have to just let him take that. I could move my knight out of the way. So let's do that. Let's take our time and let's figure out where we're going to move our knight. Okay, so... I could technically just move it right here, and he'd be able to recapture, but so would I. It would definitely threaten him and pressure him to do something, so, I mean, sounds like a good idea to me. Eventually, maybe if I'm lucky enough, I'd be able to move the knight over here and make that fork I've been planning on doing for a while. But I have to keep in mind that I have to take the light squared bishop over here and somehow get rid of this. Never mind, there that whole plan goes. Now the question becomes, do I want to recapture it with my bishop or do I want to use my queen? Using my queen puts pressure onto this piece, meaning he can't move his rook ball. Never mind, there's no reason for me to say that. He can't move it anyways. However, I have an idea where I want him to not move either of these two pieces. As of right now, he probably won't regardless, but if he doesn't, I'm just going to throw out my queen to take it because it doesn't matter really all that much. But I could just throw out this bishop or the pawn and take one of these regardless, even if he moves it. I have no idea what he's setting up right there. He could just be threatening this one pawn, 
my two options to stop that are to either move my king and castle so that he can't take it or else I'd just recapture with my king or just to move the pawn out so that even if he does take it I'd just be able to recapture there so uh just gonna use the pawn because I want a castle in this direction to put more pressure onto his king here because he hasn't moved either of these pieces yet so in theory if I'm able to get a piece like a rook or a queen up there it would be checkmate but he'd have to move all three of these so I'm putting the idea of this fork on delay for now let's just hope he doesn't move any of these which he doesn't really have any reason to unless he sees that which I mean if he's in this position right now he probably doesn't and if all else fails I can win myself a pawn right there and then just call it a day he's taking forever on this turn but that's completely okay because I queued up for a 30 minute match which basically just signs me up to wait forever for a turn whenever I started this I tried doing it in 10 minutes but with explaining and trying to play both it just was not really possible I just keep timing out left and right trying to explain everything and not having enough time all right so he's not able to take that we've got our goal done and I'm just gonna win one of these two pieces right here. The best thing about him moving that is that he can't move this into an advantageous position where he could take something. And because of the way that this is, he can't take, like, a rook without just sacrificing this. He might be able to do that and then that, but I'd just take it right there. Because, I mean, the main way to get out of this situation is to put either the king or the queen in check so that you buy yourself a turn to move a piece out of the way. But currently he's set himself into a position where he can't do either of those. All right, so by doing that, he's completely given up his knight in turn for that one pawn, which I mean, it's the best situation for him because he's put now he's now put a reveal attack over here, putting some pressure. So if I misplay, he'd be able to take it. But it doesn't matter what I take this with. He, I could still recapture if he uses his uh, rook. So, alright, and he moves that out of the way. But here's the thing. I want to get this pawn, and I also want to put him in check by moving right here. So, I'm going to do both at the same time. His only really option is to bring this out here, or to move to either direction. But I'd say that's the worst of the two directions, and it's won me a pawn. Now this piece right here is completely unguarded. Now he's threatening a lot of spaces. I know that because I almost just moved it right here thinking I'd be able to set up some kind of attack which is horrible because he can take that in so many different ways. So let's just set up that little heat map of all the places I can't go. So we've got a general idea of where we can and cannot go. All right, so here's all the places we actually can go. Highlighted in red. Except for these two, because I also missed those. And I think I am going to go right here, because he can't really put any substantial threat on me other than just putting the bishop right there. You know, I don't even know why I didn't see that. I'm going to be honest. That was pretty obvious. But, I mean, we've put ourselves into a position where we can handle stuff like that. And I think what I'm going to do is take this pawn right here, because it's completely unguarded. And I'll take another pawn for good measure. Now, this is some really risky business, because he's got a lot of pieces out that he can start using to his advantage. I think I'm just going to trade this, because I don't want to lose it. My only options are to move up and to the right, or up and to the left. Up and to the left, I'm a little bit more fortified, but up and to the right, I get tempo with making this move. But then again, while I'm there, he could just put me in check, and I'm not able to take the rook, and the next idea would be to move the queen down. Of which, if he just trades right there, then he is in a pretty good position, I'm gonna be honest. But although not a good enough position to make me not consider it, although something tells me that is exactly what he's gonna do. Was not expecting that. And because he has his bishop right there, it's putting it in check. I want to make his queen move. And I don't have any way of doing that. So I think I'm just going to move my king back down here. He can't put me in check again. So I'm going to have a turn to be able to do something. He's probably... Actually, no. He's He can't take that or else I'd recapture. But yeah, if he moves his queen at any point, I have mate. Unless he moves either of these pawns. I've still got the plus two going. 
because of all the pawns I was killing. But giving up that bishop because I wasn't paying attention was a really stupid thing, like a stupid mistake to make. Those are the kind of mistakes that I make whenever I'm in the editor and I'm just staring at him like, okay, I'm talking all this about where I can and can't go, but I have no idea where or what I'm doing. I have no idea what he's threatening here because I've got my bishop, so he can't take that. I want to threaten this pawn, but I want to also be in a situation where I can just checkmate him if necessary. And just moving down here makes it to where if he moves his queen out of the way, then I can move him right back up. Pretty good. Alright, by moving his rook up here, I can't take it because of the queen. And he's threatening the queen. So I have to move the queen again. We're going to try another one of those heat maps. That's about it. I can't move anywhere here. Which means I absolutely can move, well, I was going to say move right here, but that has, there's no reason to do that. However, I do want to move it, so I think I'm just going to move it right down here. It's an arbitrary spot that just gets me out of the fray, but it still has that check. Ah, damn it. He, he noticed. Maybe he noticed the whole time, but I'm going to put my pawn right here so that I'm able to activate this bishop. Maybe put some threat. Actually, that'd be perfect right there. So he has to move his uh, rook. I didn't even realize that, but I've just made the perfect attack. But now that I've realized that, he's automatically going to realize that himself. Murphy's Law. Okay, so let's see. If I move my queen up here, he's in check, and I'd be able to threaten this. But... He could put his queen back up here, and I wouldn't be able to take the queen because of the rook or the bishop right there. But in theory, if I do this, this is the way that it's going to go. He's going to move his queen. But I'm going to take right here. He's going to use his bishop. He's going to take. I'm going to put my bishop right here, and now I'm in a pretty good position myself. Because the best thing he can do is just move his rook back this way. I take his rook and then we trade. And I've gotten a lot of my pieces out of the way as well as his. And we've sort of leveled the playing field a little bit. That's... I didn't expect that. But that was something I had every right to expect. Now I gotta move out of the way. Or do I? Yes, I do. I do. I'm gonna put the queen right here so that... I could, in theory, move the bishop right here, which is a horrible idea because I've got the rook staring me down right there. My latest stupid idea is to put this bishop right here so that it's protecting this pawn, and then I move this pawn up twice, and then I threaten both of these. It'll never happen, but, I mean, <laughs> what if it does? All right, so I've got a weird plan here. By moving my pawn up here, he's probably gonna re he's probably gonna take that. I recapture, uh, then what? Nothing happens, I'm stupid. All right, but by moving this pawn up like I was going to, he could just take that trade and then be completely out of the way of that whole attack. So I'm not going to do that anymore, but I do have to do something, and that something I think will be getting my king out. Or, not my king, my uh, rook. Alright, he moves his queen down here, and what do I want to do? I want to move this pawn up and then this pawn up. He moved his bishop up, so the plan is now in action. Bad situation, it looks like. I know, but it's fine. All right, so they opted not to blunder. Not sure what this really does for him, but I'm going to throw my bishop right there. All right, so he moves his bishop all the way down here to take that one pawn. I can take this pawn immediately right back, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. He moves his bishop over here so that he can take it with his queen, and I wouldn't be able to recapture, but I am able to recapture if I put my queen right here which is also threatening his uh rook on this square so he does that very unfortunate however i'm just gonna put my bishop right there and protect my king his rook is still under attack he moves his rook out of the way damn it it's almost like this guy has played this game before or something i'm gonna put my queen right here because i could in theory take his bishop with this although i'm envisioning a world where he just moves his uh bishop over here then i take his bishop and if he takes with that i'm not able to recapture or else i'd be revealing my rook for attack all right so i can't move my king out of the way or else i'd just be forfeiting my rook so i'm gonna bring it up here very dodgy situation we're in right now all right he brings his queen back there but he doesn't realize that i'm able to take it with my take his bishop so that's exactly what i'm gonna do he's realizing he just now blundered now if for any reason he puts his queen right on this square i've won the game because if i move this pawn up here i'd be threatening that 
and it also put him in check, which would automatically win me that queen. Because in the off chance that he was able to move it over here and uh, protect his king, then I'd be able to take it with my uh, bishop. Okay, so I'm envisioning a world where I move my queen right here. He uses his uh, rook to per like threaten it. I take his rook, then he recaptures his queen. I move this pawn up, and then I'm in that situation. Let's see if that'll even happen. I don't know with his next move, it might just not make it possible. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's about what I expected. Nice move. Nice move, bro.